Hey y'all, uh, this is David. I'm going to try and replace this cup holder. Actually, I'm not trying to replace the cup holder module. I'm trying to replace this cigarette lighter uh, adapter, which is kind of plonky after all these years. This is an 03 Ford Explorer. And I'm trying to replace that with a USB charger, uh, which is in this bag. I'll pull that out here. All right, so now I got everything out. That's the uh, USB charger. I just got that through Amazon. And I'm gonna replace that into where the cigarette lighter goes. It comes with a couple of cables. It also comes with a couple of these if you need to splice the wire uh, and crimp it and connect it. So now I'm gonna try to get this center console out uh, to get uh, to underneath to that cigarette lighter replace it from the underside all right like i said this is an 03 explorer um these have pads i've already cleared some of this stuff out um these just these lay down in here flat these just pop out you can see this little curved thing here you just pop a a pen or a pencil or something like that underneath okay the first thing you'll notice is when you pull out this cover you're gonna see a screw right here, uh, and that's a quarter inch. It might also be a seven millimeter. You'll just have to check. I used a quarter inch um, socket uh, to pop that out. It's already loose, so I'm just gonna pop it out of there. All right, next you're gonna to wanna to get a pry tool. I've got several different pry tools. I recommend these, uh, you can see I've got kind of a set of them here for all different applications. Um, I got those at just an auto supply store. They're a little plastic so that way you don't scuff up the inside of your car using screwdrivers. Uh, you can use a screwdriver. I don't recommend it, but you know. I started right here on this corner and pushed this into here and it's attached with a clip and that just pops right up so you can see that how that's coming up now and it'll keep coming up and it'll just pop right out okay so you can see on the back so you can you can see on the back side now that's coming out you can see on the back side those two clips um, that attach that uh, into the um, into the armrest. Now underneath, there is the cigarette lighter, and as you can see, that is still um, attached. I'm just going to flip this over like so, and this should have a push pin on it somewhere. Let me pause this for a second and find out which side it's on. All right, so now I got it turned kind of long ways. That's the front up there. This is the back. I had to kind of turn it upside down. And you can see right here is the, um, being kind of stubborn, I may need to get a screwdriver, pop this pin down to pull this cord out. Um, use just a single slot screwdriver so just push that pin down there with the screwdriver while pulling out on this uh, and just kind of jig it a little bit, push pretty hard, and it did pop out. Um, so now this, once that's, a, once that's removed, this is free to take out of the car. So I'm just going to set this over here for now. And on here, this is the wire, um, and you can see a red wire and a black wire going into that. And so what I'm going to do is just cut this piece off. I'm just going to snip these cables right here and then attach my black and red leads with those using those crimps. But right now I'm going to take this in and clean it up and see how to get this cigarette lighter off all right i've got it now back inside a little workspace and uh there is right here a little 
a little clip here on the side just right here and there's another one over here on this side the problem is they don't look like they're made to be pushed in um, they look like it's just you put it in one way uh, I'm just gonna get an exacto blade and just cut these pins off here and here and see if I can't get it out so I'll cut this one this way shave this one down this way and that should pop out now you can see I've got the blade on it and I'm just pushing down trying to pop that tab out and with that tab out hopefully let me get the one on the other side a little bit better if I get that in the right position it may just go out there we go and it's out all right now I face another kind of small problem but it's achievable you can see these little tabs here here and here which um, went into the slots on this um, this new piece that I'm putting in however does not have grooves on it it's totally round so what I'm gonna have to do again is use the exacto knife and cut these little tabs off and then this should fit in that hole all right that took me all of about 45 seconds to a minute to do to pop those pins off and now you can see that pops right in that hole I'm gonna go inside like I said and clean this up uh, but one of the things you can see on this replacement piece is on either side you can see a positive um, and a negative and so when I reattach my wires I'm gonna put the red wire to the positive and the black wire to the negative uh, so remember red to positive black to negative all right all right so now i got this cleaned up a little bit and uh, i'm going to go ahead and pop this into here and just press it down it's got those threads on it and then it comes with this threaded piece at the back as you can see is um, the back has got these threads on it right there that's what holds it in place so this thread collar I'm just gonna pop on uh, and get that threaded and um, that will hold it in place all right I had to set the phone down for a second that took two hands to do but you can see that's uh, that collar's on there now. It's nice and snug, and uh, I got it really nice and tight so this isn't moving around. It's uh, really nice and secure in there. And then all I got to do is take these red and black wires and pop them on again. Uh, red to the positive side. Pop that on, snug it down, and then my black one to the negative side, pop that in place. So now that my red and black are on the US are on the USB port, what I'm gonna do is just um, splice these wires and um, attach them and then what I'm going to do is splice the wires that are coming out in the in the car and I'm going to just wrap the wires around each other tuck them down and put some electrical tape um, around them all right so now I'm back out in the car and you can see this wire is pretty well wrapped up with electrical tape uh, so I'm going to try to get some of this electrical tape stripped back first and uh, cut my wires a little further back before I uh, strip the wire shielding. All right, so using uh, an X-Acto knife, you can see I've very carefully tried to stay between these two wires 
and uh, thread that wire back um, a little bit. Now, next what I'm going to do is uh, use a pair of wire cutters and uh, and uh, and uh, strippers and strip off some of the line at the end of this. In many cars today, when you turn off the ignition, um, the power to your cigarette lighters goes dead in this car it is active uh, which means it's direct connect to the battery um, so these wires even uh, should be hot so just realize you're working with with potentially hot wires we're about to find out okay so you can see I've cut that wire I have stripped it um, and what I'm gonna do is um, connect that one first and tape it and then I will do the black wire next. All right, so there's my red wire coming from uh, my USB uh, port over there. I'm going to wrap these around each other and tape them up. So now I've wrapped the two wires around each other and I'm just going to tape them off with um, electrical tape. I just Okay, so now that's taped off and uh, I'm gonna do the black one next um, I did them one at a time I just don't want the red and black wires to touch so um, your call I recommend doing it uh, one by one all right now we have got uh, both wires uh, connected and taped up um, now for the real test I'm gonna go get something besides my phone um, and pop a cord into this and see if I can get it to charge. If it shows charged, then I know I'm connected properly and I'm not going to fry my phone out. But I realize there's a little power switch, little power button right here. So when I turn that on, um, you can see that coming through there. And so now let's try to plug this, plug this little, uh, I'm not going to plug my phone into it. I've just got a little power bank and we should get a little red charge light on the bottom of that power bank and we do and that is awesome so now I can go ahead and take this and reinstall everything just in reverse um, the way I put it in start by popping this in first getting those clips tucked in um, Maybe can do it with one hand, maybe not. Um, just kind of get that aligned to get those clips popped in. All right, so that's back in. Snug, it just pops right back into place. And then what I can start doing is just putting my cup holders back. Don't forget to replace um, your screw right there. And um, that's all there is to it. If you uh, like what you saw, please comment below. Um, please like and share. Um, and uh, hopefully we can get some traction on this.